Hello everyone. My name is Elizabeth Widener and I'm Miss Central Illinois Outstanding Teen. Today I'm going to be reading Oliver's story for Sibs of Kids with Cancer by Michael Dodd. This book is dedicated to the thousands of children each year who will discover that their brother or sister has cancer. I remember when my sister had cancer. It was last summer. I remember when my mom and dad first told me. They were very sad. I didn't have to ask why they were so sad. I felt sad too. My dad told me that sometimes kids with cancer don't get better. He was crying. My dad doesn't usually cry, but I know that grown-ups can be afraid sometimes too. He said Isabel would have to go to the hospital a lot for a whole year, but that he thought she would get better. I thought Isabel would get better too. She's my little sister. We went to Grammy and Grampy's house to see my cousins and friends. Grammy called this Isabel's celebration of life. My mom and dad said that my smile made them feel better and would make Isabel feel better too. My mom gave me five whole dollars to buy candy for me and all the kids. First, I tasted the candy. Then I said a prayer for Isabel. The next day, Isabel went to the hospital for a biopsy. That's an operation where the doctor takes out a tiny piece of the cancer to do special tests. I made up a pretend birdhouse and paper flowers to decorate Isabel's hospital room. Real flowers aren't allowed because they can give germs to kids in the hospital. My mom and dad stayed with Isabel in the hospital overnight. I asked if I could stay too, but hospital rules said no. That made me really mad. I wanted to be with my mom and dad and Isabel all the time. Grammy and Grampy came to stay with me at my house. Grampy slept in my room the most. Grammy said that's because me and Grampy snore a lot. I didn't feel so lonely when Grampy was in my bedroom. I did a lot of fun things when Grammy and Grampy came to stay. Grampy took me fishing and he took me and my best friend Mark to play miniature golf. Grammy showed me how to cook artichokes. Sometimes she talked on the phone about Isabel's cancer. I listened. Then I asked questions about what she was saying and what did it mean. At the hospital, Isabel smiled right away when she saw me. My mom said that was the first time Isabel smiled since her operation. I can always make Isabel smile. At first, Isabel was really scared of the nurses, but the nurses were always nice to me. Once, I got to stay with Isabel for her blood test. Isabel screamed a lot, but I told her, you'll be all right, little one. And soon, she was. Sometimes people ask me how I know so much about cancer. That's because of books. My favorite was Chemo Shark. It's about a pretend shark named Chemo, who goes inside a person's body to kill the cancer just like chemotherapy. The only bad thing about chemo is that he can make people feel tired and throw up and make their hair fall out. When Isabel's hair fell out, I knew that chemo shark was really working to kill the cancer. I told everyone that Isabel was the cutest bald baby on Seven West. Sometimes my best friend Mark came to visit me at the hospital. We visited Isabel and then went exploring in the hospital and pretended to be spies. I wanted to ride in the bikeathon to raise money for cancer, but my dad told me that kids weren't allowed. So we collected money from the neighbors and I bought Beanie Babies to give to the kids every time I visited Isabel at the hospital. On the first day of school, I brought in a picture showing what I did over the summer. 
My teacher sent home a note saying I had a really good first day. I saw two kids from school at the hospital a lot. Julie's sister had an organ transplant and Chrissy gets physical therapy. On Fridays, me and Julie ate lunch with a counselor named Mrs. Burlingham. Julie talks mostly, and I listen. On Halloween, Isabel couldn't go trick-or-treating because of germs. I collected candy for her, but after a while, I just wanted to go home. I gave Isabel my Smarties, and she ate them really fast. Before Thanksgiving, Isabel had her big surgery to take the cancer out. It lasted from morning until night. I stayed the whole time. Lots of people came to visit. It was my job to show them the hospital. I had to wait two whole days to see Isabel after her surgery. She was in the ICU. I said, hi little one, and she smiled at me, but only with her eyes. In the ICU, I made a friend named Nathan. Once, we had a sword fight until the nurse said no. I played with Nathan every day until Isabel went home. Isabel got radiation treatments every day until Christmas. That's when they shoot x-rays inside someone's body to kill the cancer. Once, I stayed home from school to see the radiation machine. When it was Isabel's turn to get radiation, I told her, don't worry, little one, there's no ouchies. After Christmas, Isabel had a stem cell transplant. There's more chemotherapy and then baby blood cells to get better. Isabel was in the hospital for a month. I stayed at home and helped my mom clean the house so there would be no germs when Isabel came home. I remember some good things about the year Isabel had cancer. People who came to help slept over a lot. Sometimes I missed them. I also liked making Isabel smile. Mom and Dad gave me a trophy that says I'm the world's best brother. This summer, me and my friend Sam sold lemonade at the bike -a to raise money to buy Beanie Babies for kids with cancer. It was the hottest day of the year. We made $229. Every month, me and my mom and dad and Isabel go to the hospital just to visit. I like to do card tricks for grown-ups. They're always amazed I can do tricks that they can't figure out. But I know kids can do a lot of amazing things. I'm glad my mom and dad know it too. This book was written to celebrate the ways in which siblings of children with cancer can help during this time of family crisis. Its goal is to promote an increased understanding of childhood cancer its treatment, and the impact on the family from the sibling's perspective. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.